Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for EU4 as we continue our run here with Champa. Things were looking okay. I was very happy with what we had. I just did too much aggressive expansion to get there. And so now we're going to lose probably everything. <laughs> I, I mean, do we even still survive? Actually, are we still a, still a nation after all of this? I don't know the answer to that. Um, I guess we're going to go try and defend up somewhere. Not the Savannah, ideally. But we're going to take attrition no matter where we're at. Apparently we can come here and at least not take attrition for now. I mean, they're going to come beat us up. It is what it is. Where's Diviet? They're carp besieging now. I mean, okay, as soon as you lock, we can go at least jump on that 1k group. I mean, truth be told, this is a fort. We would be the defenders. You know what? Let's jump on them. I mean, they're going to mobilize. They're going to come after us. But we got to do what we got to do to try and do something here. But yeah, we're going to lose. I just don't think... I think I think we just got to unconditionally surrender. I don't think there's anything we can do to piece these guys out at all. We got we to gotta, we gotta accept our fate. Otherwise, we're just going to... Like, we're losing, right? We're definitely... I've actually lost more troops than we have. Interesting. Hmm. I just don't know. I don't know what we can do. I've been in tough situations before, like with, uh, in various games in the past, but I don't know what to do about this one. Not sure how to solve this one. I think I think we just got to surrender. I, I don't. I think we, we're gonna lose it anyway. I think we just got to see what happens. If we if we end up losing the game, then I it's, then I learned a lesson. Aggressive expansion is obviously significantly worse than I, I. I thought it would die away before anything really bad happened. That obviously doesn't happen. So it's okay. Uh, how bad is it gonna be? They brought Khmer back. Okay, so we're back to square one again, effectively. What is Khmer now? They're guaranteed by Diviet. So, do we still have aggressive expansion issues? Like, how would we even see that? No, we still have terrible aggressive expansion. I see that now. Oh no, this will cause one minus one twenty three. So actually I'm just reading that wrong. I think. Uh I guess we can look at this. Uh where was it? Coalitions. There it is. Okay, now we're reset with Diviet at the moment. Some of these other ones. I don't know. Let's play it out. Let's see. I mean, we got our work cut out for us to regain everything we just lost, which, you know, it is what it is, and do it more intelligently without all the aggressive expansion. It's possible our best... Honestly, I hate to say it. There's a good chance that our best bet is to... Um... um restart the game and just... Just be much more careful with your aggressive expansion. And more specifically, be more careful with whatever causes us to not be a tributary of Ming anymore. That's what really made everything just not go the way I wanted it to go. I thought we were going to try to stay a tributary of Ming. 
pretty much for a long time and then eventually just like be big enough that we could be like okay we're bigger than them or we're big enough that we could fight them and it wouldn't matter but it just never happened so very annoying that i didn't understand what happened with the uh the mean tributary thing but it is what it is all right so we lost all our money right Oh, and it's probably because we're way over force limit here. Um, we're way over force limit everywhere. Uh, let's go ahead and consolidate all of our regiments. Get that pulled down. Okay, so we're two under. That's okay. And then over here on the ships. Ships you can usually get by with being a little bit over. Because you get that extra trade power anyway. So we might be able to just ignore that for now. Until we can build back up to a high, higher fleet status. Well, obviously, Khmer is going to be a target for us at some point. I can't. Oh, it's actually less aggressive expansion now. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, we're not ready for this yet, but that looks like it's possible we could do this at some point. I'm still not sure if I'm understanding the number, the, the values down there completely. Is the parentheses what they're currently at or the parentheses what they would go to? They're currently at one, minus 108. So if we declared war here, they would go from 108 to... Or Iothia, for example. Okay, so Iothia would gain 20 aggressive expansion against... Like, they would... 20... They would, it would go down by 20. They're currently at 108, so... Okay, so we do have to just sit here for a while. Fair enough. It's fine. It's part of the story. You get greedy. You get put in your place. Then you just get to be greedy again later. We are currently separated from some of our provinces, which is not ideal. Truth be told, we're still alive. Oh, we have some promises over here, too. We're still alive. It could have been worse. <laughs> it's really what it comes down to. It could have been. Basically, like, what, they took these two promises? Yes. Didn't we have these two up here? I think we did. And then... Did they take any of these? I don't remember. But I think they just basically just took those two and released Khmer again. Now, Khmer got released on a very large level, right? This is a very big Khmer. The thing is, we'd love to go to war against the Khmer before they got friends, but it looks like that's just not going to happen. Oh, they're starting to get friends already. Oh, Ayathai just declared war on Khmer. <laughs> so now Ayathai is going to use all of this to get bigger. Of course they are. All right, it's all good. We'll we'll uh, we'll find a way to recover somehow. Someday we'll get all this land back. I don't know when, because that aggressive expansion is terrible. Uh, we got to pay off loans. We got How many loans do we have? We got tons of loans, don't we? <laughs> so many loans. We're, 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 this is bad, guys. This is pretty bad. Um, We're actually going to get rid of you, because... We need the 3.15 ducats per month right now. Uh, did we get any ships that we don't care about? No, we look like we're okay. Would like to... You know, we could just take these four ships that are... a little bit broken and just get rid of them. Yeah, let's just go down to force limit. Let's just let's just trim it back. It's all gonna be fine. And that will get us to force limit for both. Well, not quite force limit there, but we'll get there at some point. Ugh, coalition's bad. I got greedy. I got so greedy. A 
Lesson learned. That's the good thing about uh, this game, right? This game is all about story. And this is just part of the story. It's not a bad one, actually. Yeah, I think we we'll try this one. Just get a little bit more loyalty from our estates. At least that that equalizer goes a little bit higher. I think that'll be good. What is this? Looming disaster. What is our looming disaster? Russian guild's influence is lower than a hundred. Why is that a bad thing? Oh, we need it to be lower than a hundred. Oh, I gotcha. So, way to lower influence influences the that one. I don't think there's a way to lower it, is there? Hmm. Uh, I guess we could revoke one of these. I need to revoke this one. Uh, can we? I thought we could. Can we not revoke anything? Huh. Why can't we revoke? Okay, um... To revoke a privilege, this state's loyalty must be higher than the influence. Oh, okay. I get it. I was going to say, we can revoke that one. So we need to lower their influence somehow. Not exactly sure how that's going to happen. <laughs> and what is the disaster? Like, what's going to happen here? Because it doesn't look like that's we're going to be able to do anything there. Oh, we just have lower morale. Manpower. Like, lots of bad things that do happen. But I don't think we lose any. I don't think we have any rebels or anything like that. Really, game? Why are you taking my stability away that I just got back? Oh, I hate that I thought is about to get bigger, but it's going to make Khmer a lot smaller. Oh my goodness, I thought is massive now. Okay, bad things. I was really having fun with this game, too. I'm really bummed that I got greedy. Ugh. Never do that again. We just can't afford coalitions. I mean, yeah, this just will all be bad. Just gotta wait. Be patient here. Okay, we can pay off some loans. If we find a way to recover from all of this, I would be shocked. But we got we got a lot of time. We still got a couple hundred years, right? What three hundred years, something like that? Two fifty? I forget what exactly. I think the game ends in. Is it early eighteen hundred that it ends? Something like that. I should look that up. I'm kind of curious now. When does EU four end? Eighteen twenty one. So we got. 270 years something like that so uh we got a long time to rebuild our nation here and do it better um i mean i like the prestige and all that stuff is always good of course but we kind of just need ducats right now Pay off loans. We get all if we got all these loans paid off. 
which we're down to four. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be all right. We're going to be fine if we can stay alive. Obviously, we're very weak right now. And, um, uh, all right, legitimacy does go up, so we'll take that one. Um, we're very weak right now, and I don't know the best way for us to get strong again based on our current situation. We can't go this direction, right? We can't go out that way. We have to... We have to advance either after Khmer, um, Ayuthaya, or Diviet, something like that. What is this? It's all bad is what it is. Guess we'll quarantine. So I'm going to D it, which unfortunately gives, well, it gives loyalty, but it doesn't, apparently does not give influence anymore at this point in time. I have no idea how we're going to get the influence to go away, but let's just keep working on stuff. Annex Champasek. Yeah, that would be nice. Base production of at least 10. I mean, it's going to take me a bit to get there, but that seems like that's probably the best one. Cannot improve because it's bit, but higher than these other two combined. All right. Get a little bit of this. Okay. Ten. <laughs> sure. Hey, we can repay a loan. Hey, we can purchase an ability. Awesome. Uh, none of these are really, like, amazing. We'll take Institution Spread and True Faith Provinces. Because actually, I think all of our provinces are currently our faith, aren't they? I think they are. Yeah, it looks like they are. We're making a good amount of ducats, even for our smaller size. We keep paying off our loans for now. Oh, the disaster's gone. Why? I know it's still there. Oh, but it's not going up per month right now. Hmm. Oh, because their loyalty is high enough. It's not actually changing at all right now. Good to know. Hey, corruption. Merchant Guild gains influence, which they're already high on influence. Oh, we can drop their influence. Oof, I don't like any of this, though. I think we're going to take this one. Can it go above 100? <laughs> Let's, I don't actually know. I'm assuming not. No? Okay. I think we're okay, then. We have a lot of cannons. We have too many cannons. Probably should... Yeah, we probably should delete a couple cannons at this point. I think four is a good number. 
and then we'll get the rest. We'll be infantry here in a bit. In fact, I think let's go ahead and just cap, get our infantry cap picked back up again. Let's get that done just so we know that we're as good as we're going to get. I don't know if either one of those is that great. No, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, apparently it does. It does. It's not showing it, but it is actually there. I can see it now hovering over it. So just because we just lost 10 influence does not mean that this went away. Okay, good to know. Uh, actually, at this point, I don't know that I want them to lose. Well, I think as long as they stay above 60, we're okay. Okay, one to go. We desperately need to go after Khmer, though. Down to one, two, three, four, five. If we get it down to just Iothaya, <laughs> that would be fine. Um, maybe even Iothaya and Khmer, but because uh, one person, a coalition does not make. All bad. I don't like either of those, but I guess we'll take what we can take. Hey, we actually have colonialism floating about. I did not even realize we had. We don't even have Renaissance. Colonialism? Colonialism is up there, though. Okay. It exists. Where's your tech rate at? 11, we're at, we're at 9. We're way behind now. We fell behind big time against Ayothaya. Yeah, I have a feeling Ayothaya is going to be the death of us. <laughs> My, We were so good. We were in such a good place. Just too greedy. Kind of, I, I don't know. A really big part of me wants to try this again and get it right the second time. I was actually having fun with this. Their military is twenty one K. If they were to attack us, it, then we might be okay. Long Pie's almost off that list. You know, why not? Get some colonialism floating about. Alright. Things are not great, but they're alright. Uh, summon a diet. Yeah, this is fine. Building a temple. I like that idea. I'll do that. Cool. Um, looks like we can get another ship. I think we will do that here in momentarily.
It's down to four. Wait a little bit longer. Even Lang Zhang will take off that list. So that might be worth risking. Uh, I think we can lower the interest or uh, inflation now. Yes, we can. Japan is privateering us. How dare they? All right, we should probably start bumping up some more tax at this point. I mean, I was trying to avoid it because I didn't think it would matter that much. And that might have been why we lost some of that stuff. But usually what happens is I check the text before I attack somebody. But defensively, I honestly, I just didn't even do it. I mean, we do have colonialism. It exists, or like it's starting to exist. So, yeah, it's starting to spread. So, let's wait till we can maybe embrace colonialism at some point. In fact, um, let's increase the institution spread here and possibly even here. Get the institution spread to all of those places. That would be really good. Uh, what is this? Oh, is it just the one here in the middle? They don't like the fact that that one... Oh, we can't get rid of it right now, but... Yeah, I realize it's a little premature because we haven't actually got the institution spreading there. But I didn't think it would cost us that much right away because it's about to get into some of these places here in a moment. Uh, can we improve some things here to make it spread faster? Uh, this will get us Renaissance, not... Really, that's actually surprising. Now, where's the institution button? <laughs> I'm blind, apparently. I am... Apparently, really blind. Why am I not seeing the institution button? Okay. <laughs> Apparently, it doesn't exist. I mean, I know it exists, but I just don't see it for some reason. There, oh, there it is. I was, I was like, it's like it's here somewhere. I was looking for the book, and that's a book as well. Um, looks like if we just increase this, it will only increase Renaissance, not. Colonialism. All right, well, we'll get there in time. If, if we end up needing to remove this here in a bit, then I will. But right now, we cannot remove it. A little premature. That's all right. We're still doing fine on the money side of things. Hey, they're not at 100% anymore. Um, we can grab some advisor slots, things like that, if we wanted to. Slowly build some things back up here. I mean, we're not getting much at all. I think we just grab a level one of each just to get something. Just to get a little bit more ticking in here. Got money. We could build up some more, you know, force limit and things like that.
And we got two more places we could build naval force limit. But honestly, at this point, we probably just need more actual land force limit. Hmm. I don't know. Think about it. It's down to three. If we could get Lang Jing out of that, and it's only Ayathai and Khmer, we might take that. So Lang Jing needs to lose 11 more. Man, I just feel like we got to go now while, while we can, right? We've got the ability to. Hmm. All right, I'm going to think about it. We'll put it, put it cut in there. When we come back, we'll figure out if we can do a war against Khmer at some point. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.